So guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors Adventure Map. So, in the last episode, I, I don't know, I kind of was just having a good time. In this episode, uh, I promised I would take care of those two things right before the episode. In this episode, I guess... Uh, no. It'll, it'll, that'll take a candle, which we don't have. Uh, what's going here with Sheik? Alright, defeat all enemies. Uh, so this is gonna be one of these missions. We did knights. Let's see. Take a moment to blow up these guys so I don't have to deal with them later. It's been a while since I've played Sheik, actually, now that I think about it. Luckily, Sheik has water moves now that I think about it. Or else this may actually be difficult or something. No, I'm not even gonna bother picking up. It was only Intuition Man, I'm not even gonna bother. I mean, I get the weapon no matter what. As long as I don't fail this, that is. Defeat all enemies. Alright. Wizro and Big Poe. Get you both of that hit. Three rupees, there we go. Would rather deal the more damage to Wish Row rather than the big Poe. Alright. Yeah, it's nice to finally get back to recording all these guys. It's a lot of fun doing these, as I've said before. And it's just Oh. I forgot that's kind of damaging. Ah, alright. Come on, just leave you alone for the moment. Come on. Oh, right, what I was talking about. Sorry, I kind of get distracted sometimes. Now, um, honestly, it's a lot of fun to do these kind of things, and I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy these. It's kind of late at night for me to be doing this, and that might explain some of my commentary style things, but it shouldn't really be an excuse. I think that, for me, personally, whenever I do these, I should always be trying to get better, and man, can he grab you! I didn't realize so he could twist his arm like that. I figured if I got behind him, it'd be fine. There we go. Wizro, take the full force of that. Even hit the uh, big foe with that. Beat the big foe. And defeated Wizro. Advance to the next keep. Alright, the moment you let me. Come on. Alright, but seriously, I think that I need to practice the more I do this. I think that, honestly... Wait, okay, no, sorry, I was assuming they were talking about something important down there. Uh, I think it's... If I get better with each of these I do, I would be really happy. It'd be really cool to actually get better as time goes on, not just be kind of consistent. Because I want you guys to be entertained, you know? And to be enter like entertaining, you have to get better or else people get bored of you, right? People are always improving, and honestly, I need to get better at these kind of things. Alright, come on. 
Volga's the big contender there. Get you both in it. Close to defeating the Redead Knight. So yeah, I've got to try to focus less on the game, if that makes sense. And I've got to focus more on entertaining you guys, because that's what it's all about, right? It's not just about me playing games and stuff, because, you know, that's a really important thing for me to be able to do here. But honestly, the fact that I can play games for you guys and you guys actually enjoy watching me. It's really cool that you that people would actually, you know, go out of their way to watch my videos because I I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have like 75 or something, but honestly, I get plenty of views. I get anything anything from only a couple, like three or something, to all the way in the thousands on some of my videos. Honestly, that's incredible for me. I think that I even did half as well as I, you know, half even half that well was just completely impressive to me. Oh, wow. Honestly, I guess what I'm trying to say is that so long as you guys keep watching my stuff, I'll be trying to improve everything I do. Anywhere from my editing to my commentary, I'll be trying to get better for your guys' sake. Because, yeah, I have to watch them back and playback and stuff, but that's the only time I ever have to watch my videos back. I mean, sure, I sometimes try to go through and try to find some things that I liked, just to know that I'm actually doing well, but I I guess, in the end, I'm not always a huge fan of my own things. And the reason I'm not a huge fan is because I can walk, like watch things back and just go, ah, I wasn't doing enough here, I wasn't doing enough there. And it's really cool when you guys are like, nah, you, like this is funny or something. And I, it's really cool. Because I've had some people go like, uh -huh, you're singing stupid and you're terrible, but it's kind of funny. And I'm like, oh, well, that's good. And I've had other people go, oh, hey, yeah, I really agree with this opinion. I like that as well. I've had people who say it, my opinion is completely wrong and that's stupid. But, you know, even that's good to hear as well because I'm getting feedback. And I apparently didn't get an A rank because I took too much damage. Yay. I love that. Hmm. Um, let's get rid of that. Volga. Da -da. So I'll have to replay that one. I'll replay that one off screen because, you know, I tend to hate replaying them on screen. It's only a heart piece, so it's not important to do right now. We're going to go in as hopefully not Daruni or any of them because I've played way too much of them. Let's figure out which tree it is. That one way up there. I would not have guessed that one right there. Now we're going to be going in as Zelda and we're going to be getting a new weapon? A new weapon for Zelda. Alright, a new weapon for Zelda, because it's a level 1, it has to be an entirely new one. We already have the Rapier and the Dominion Rod, so I wonder what the third one is. Is it... Does she get the Wind Waker? Shouldn't Link have the Wind Waker? Why does she get the Wind Waker? We haven't tried out the Dominion Rod yet, so let's try it. Leveling up increases the warrior's basic attack strength and maximum health. Your warrior's experience gauge will fill as, as you defeat enemies. When the gauge is full, the warrior levels up. <laughs> I want to evaluate their forces. Let me go ahead. Sure, go for it. I don't mind. Oh, I control one of these. That's pretty cool, actually. Not only am I attacking with the Dominion Rod, I'm also attacking... Oh. Sweet. Apparently we have the Cuckoos helping us. Now, what, like I was saying, it's really cool that... Uh... Crap. That thing's right there. 
Now, like I was saying, uh, w the southwest room screwed. I'm sorry. Like I was saying, uh, I'm really enjoying doing this. I want to get better for you guys, and I feel like I actually finished in that. I was actually talking about the Dominion Rub. What am I talking about? On. Okay, I did that. Sorry, I needed to focus on the game for a moment. But yeah, like I was saying, the Dominion Rod's a really cool weapon from the looks of it. I don't know the combos yet, so I'll have to figure those out. But I think I can get a hand a handle on this. I wonder if I can get to this before it pulls up. I did it! I actually saved the Southwest Keep. Alright, come on. I can actually ride on top of it and smash the- Okay, I think this might be my favorite weapon for Zelda. Even more than the Wind Waker we're about to get. I think this might be my favorite weapon. And don't even try to say, oh, it's not the Wind Waker. I saw the picture. It's definitely the Wind Waker. Hi, Hall of Mirrors enemies. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare go to the Allied base. I won't let you. Come on. Need to focus and kill it. Come on. So far, and I'm not gonna fail. Ruto, you're against us with the Gorons? Well, that's weird. Hi, Ruto. What are you? What is the general doing so far over here? Sheik is against us. What? How does that work? But Sheik's Ruto attack me. I dare you. There we go. In. Break your defenses! I can't properly see it because it's through the wall, but that was pretty cool. Dealt enough damage for my liking. Come on. Ruto, you're almost down. Just die already and Ruto is defeated which you know Ruto is a newer enemy so I've never really had to fight her much since I've never had to fight her I don't have the material so I'm hoping I get the gold one soon oh that's how it works I've already defeat 750. You know, if I was allowed to play Zelda in the defeat 500 enemies one, it'd be real easy. Actually, no. I, it, th the reason that was difficult was because they were so spread out. They did a good job making it difficult and making the bosses constantly bothering you, trying to trick you into fighting them, and then they just kind of own you while you're not paying attention. Come on. 
Let's beat you down, Sheik. Because let's be honest, you're nothing but a copycat. And Sheik is dead. Only got a silver material, but it's not a problem. I don't know if I've ever actually... Yeah, I've had to have fought against Sheik and defeated him. Right? At some point? I think. Okay. Wait, w weren't there things hidden on this map? Now that I think about it, I think I need to go and take all the enemy keeps because I'm pretty sure there were things hidden on this map. There might have been both a uh, heart piece and a heart container, if I'm remembering right. Was this one I was looking at? I don't know. Let's see. Man, Zelda, you're kind of smashing them. <laughs> Get it? Smashing them? Smashing! <laughs> oh, well, apparently my throat just decided to think that I wasn't funny. Well, I wasn't funny to begin with, but you know. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Wait, right, talk. I forgot. <laughs> That's always my biggest issue, is remembering to talk when I'm just focusing on something kind of simple in the game. So I just kind of get really into the game and just forget all of what I'm speaking about. In this, it's pretty simple. Just go around, defeat all enemies, and try to find all the hidden items. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be doing these uh, in the future. Because as, you, as I've mentioned, there are actually other modes to play. Like, there is Adventure Mode, Free Mode, uh, Legend Mode, and Challenge Mode. Those are the four main in the game. The Legend Mode has been beaten. Free Mode is just play on any of the Legend Mode maps with any character you want. So I've used that to grind up some characters a little bit. And to try to grind materials. You know, just get used to some characters. Um, but that still leaves me with ch Adventure Mode and Challenge Mode. Challenge mode, I will probably be showing off as well. The rest of adventure mode besides this adventure map, I'm not sure what I'm doing with. I'm thinking that it might be fun to actually come back to this series at a future date to take care of all the DLC, including the Master Quest map, the Twilight map, and the uh, Termina map. I've heard good things about them, but I don't actually know much about them. I've kept myself blind as, you know, this is a blind LP all the way through. Even if I don't put blind in the title anymore. Because this is all different kind of stuff. It would make the titles way too long. But you know, you know, this is all blind. I've never played this game before. This is all my blind uh, reactions and whatnot. And like I thought... There we go. I'm betting this is the heart container. I'm gonna say container. I was wrong as the piece. Dang it. Which means that the container, it's either under a rock or in the top right corner. Wow, I deal so much damage. So yeah, I'm thinking that I might do the rest of Adventure Mode in different bouts, so you just don't have to deal with a, like a hundred plus episodes of Adventure Mode. So I'll be coming back to those in a few months or whatever, and I'll do it every few months probably. Whenever I'm feeling like playing this game again, which honestly, I feel like playing this game forever. The only reason that I'm not is because I need to start doing some other things soon. And I would be doing a DS game, 3DS I don't remember which one it was. Uh, it was either a 3DS game or a DS game that I wanted to try doing, but I actually screwed up something with my screen and it's kind of cracked and unable to do things, so I need to replace that. It's like 30 bucks for a new 3DS screen. It sucks. Here's the heart, uh, Pete. Heart container. Why'd I say peace? Uh, I'm stupid. But yeah, like I said, 
I would be showing you another game right now alongside this stuff, but I'm having some delays. I may not even do that one because of the delays. I may switch over and do a different game on a different console in the meantime. Uh, I'm not sure what game in the meantime. I'm going to be thinking within the next few days that I might come up with the game and you might see it within the next week, but I'm not really positive. There we go. If I uh, can, if I can get it without uh, 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 English, why did that go so badly? If I can get it out within the next week, uh, you guys will see it probably around the time this is uploaded because I'm probably like four or five episodes ahead of where I'm supposed to be. Because I think episode three went up today. I had some delays in editing it and stuff and uh, ended up getting out like today instead of like last week. Like I said, some things with stuff I'd rather not talk about on here because depression, not depression, but depressing. So, um, yeah. Imagine next week it should come out, maybe a week after that at most. I'm hoping... Uh, so many projects in mind, and that's the problem here, guys. Because what do I do first? Do I stick with games that I'm trying to? Do I stick to, like, do I try a game that I'm, like, a master of? I wouldn't even say master. I, I cannot say master, seriously, now that I think about it. Because there's no mastering for me. I always have my constant scripts. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna go back in here and kill some more enemies. Oh, is that... That's my finisher. Wow. It's one of the huge ones. Ah, oh. uh, it's like baseball. Whatever, I finished him off. I believe that was a silver material, not a gold like I needed, but at least I got another one so I can upgrade Ruto more. And I got my A rank I needed. And with this A rank I get, I'm, let's see if I'm right. The weapon that is, right, a sealed weapon. All right. Victory is mine. Also, this episode went on a while, I think. I think this was like a 30 minute. Wow. I honestly like how that looks. They did a good job uh, recreating that kind of thing. Triple A. The Wind Waker, a legendary baton that can control the very wind. It creates whirlwinds to disorient your enemies and then forms a strong attack to make an even more powerful tornado. Darunia Spikes, Sheik's Kunai, Big Po Necklace, Rocks. I got a bunch of rocks. I got a rock! Alright. So guys, next time on Let's Play Hyrule Warriors Blind, we're going to be going into some more of these missions. We're going to be... I feel like I should... Mm, should I go back and get those now, or... Nah, I think next episode we're not even going to bother going back at the beginning of the episode to get something. I'll show more of those off later. But for now, I kind of want to just go in and take care of some new stuff without me having to worry about it. Sorry if you... It, you guys really want to see the stuff there? I'm not sure if... Well... Actually... Just looking at the map will tell you that this is a heart piece and that's... Uh... Uh... Let's see... What other ones have I beaten that I didn't get? Yeah, the heart pieces and heart containers and stuff. 
I don't know. So guys, I'll see you then.